In this short video, I am going to show you how to apply different thermal templates to different rooms within your model. So just to show you this model I've got here, it's a multi-story office block. And what I'm going to show you is that different parts of the building can have different thermal templates depending on uh, floor, which floor it's on. Um, so for example, you might want to have a different thermal template for your basement than your first floor. Uh, you might want to have an atrium, in which case you have a different thermal template for that because it's not going to be occupied by any people uh, and things like that. So let's have a look at the thermal um, template manager, the building template manager here. And I just want to show you that I've created a few different thermal templates in here. One for the basement, one for the ground floor and one for the top floor. So for example, the basement might have no people in the profile, but it might have computer servers. The uh, ground floor might have a small number of people and uh, the top floor might have a large number of people, all with computers and things like that. So different rooms may need a different thermal template. So they're the three I've got. So I'm just going to show you how to apply those into the model now. What we need to do is to go into the Apache uh, application over here. before it moves between applications and what we're looking for is uh, the room in particular that we want to get so what we're going to do is go for say the first floor um, interior selecting it from the uh, spaces over here and what I need to do is come to this button here which is the assign room thermal template to selection set so I want to tell the computer that in that room there's a particular uh, thermal condition going on so I click on this button here and what I do is I tick the box to say that I want to change the thermal template. Then I've got a drop down menu here and I select the one that I want to use. So I'm going to go with say top floor here. And then I go OK. And the thermal template that I created in the building template manager gets applied to that uh, room. If I want to say go to the basement, we pretend that this space over here is a basement. Come back up here to our assigned room thermal template selection. And I want to change the thermal template, so I click that box, and from the drop down menu, I find the one that I created for basement, and I go OK, and that space now has the basement thermal template associated with it. So there are two key, sorry, three key steps involved in this. First of all, you have to have your thermal templates created in your building template manager, that's the first point. Second point is you have to be in the Apache application to make these changes. And the third point is you need to look for this button up here, the Assign Room Thermal Template to Selection Set button. 